All right, we want to go ahead and head it out to our crews who are dealing with all this weather. Anthony Carlo is in Lodi and continues our coverage. Anthony. Stand by. Well, as you can see, it is not pleasant out here right now. Just as you toss to me, I'm getting hit in the face with some rain. We were hearing some thunder and saw a lightning strike just a few moments ago. The story here in Lodi tonight is one of frustration. I want to have my photographer pan into the Saddle River here. They have gotten pummeled with about four or five floods in the past four or five months. Now, the Saddle River is gradually uh, rising here. We're expecting it to crest at two in the morning morning a hair below flood stage, but already puddles are forming at the mouth of a parking lot that practically kisses the Saddle River. The people who live in an apartment complex nearby, they've become well too accustomed to dealing with flooding. It feels like every time we come here, I mean, we were just here about two weeks ago for a rainstorm. People are telling us about the cars that they've lost due to flooding from the Saddle River. One woman today tells me she lost two cars, one of them brand new. The last time we were here, the mayor of Lodi tells us that a big problem with Main Street here is that two outfall pipes, four feet under the Saddle River, are not properly working. So they get clogged up, and the byproduct of that is that storm drains then get backed up and cause Main Street to flood. But again, it is the people here that live right along the Saddle River that tell me uh, as the river rises, uh, so does their blood pressure. Take a listen. It's just a bunch of people over and over and over again that they're losing all of their belongings, having to restart. This is the time where being poor costs you more than anything because you cannot relocate. It costs us $3,000 to get into another apartment. It's very, very difficult. And unless they do something about that river, which has been flooding since like the 70s, it should be dredged at this point. I mean, seriously, we have enough money as a whole of New Jersey. We've gotten enough FEMA assistance. Why are the waterways not being taken care of? I think you'd be just as angry as Ashley is if you lost two cars, too. Another live look here at the Saddle River. Again, we're expecting it to crest at 2 o'clock in the morning. So people here are certainly holding on to some kind of hope. Uh, it's supposed to be about a hair above flood stage when the river does crest, but we are expecting other rivers in New Jersey uh, to flood, like the Passaic River. And as you can see right now, the wind is really uh, just very lately picking up here in Lodi. The rain continues to fall and bitter cold, making for an uncomfortable situation for us and, more importantly, the people who live over here. We're live in Lodi, New Jersey. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Yeah.